Alrighty, so in this video here, we're going to talk about how we actually put our car through flow design. Now, you've probably watched my previous video where I exported to an STL file. I'll just quickly go through that for you. So in order to do that, you need to right click at the very top of the browser here and go down to save as STL, in which case you'll get this dialog box. From this dialog box here, don't worry about this send to 3D print utility. Leave that non-ticked, so we want it just the way it is right now and we hit OK. It'll bring up a folder where you'd like to save it, so preferably in your student folder would be great. Um, and you can just name it first car or second car or whichever one it is. Um, and once you've done that, you hit the save key there. So I, as you can see, I've already got mine saved as first car. Now, the next thing I need to do is go into flow design, and I'm going to need to import my car and get it going. So I'm going to pick import local, go into my folder, into 9F1 there, and first car is right there. So I'm going to select first car and click open. And straight away we're into the screen, uh, into the flow design environment here. Now right now you can see obviously my car is really not in the correct position, so I've got to change some different things here. So I'm going to start with changing my wind tunnel to start, uh, sorry, changing my orientation to start with. And in my case, I need to change my X angle by 90 degrees. That way my car is now flat, as you can see there. Click OK. All right, it's going to go ahead and do what, whatever it thinks is the next best thing to do. I'm going to change my wind tunnel now. I've got a couple of things I need to change here. First, I need to change the wind speed to 20 meters per second, like that. And I need to raise the base of my wind tunnel up so it just touches my wheels, just there. Um, and when I've done that, I hit OK. Now as you can see right now we've got a 2D plane down the middle of the car so if I adjust this to on an angle you can see it's only testing that small amount of the car and sometimes this can be useful if we move that to the centre of the car, other times not so much. In this case we really want to go for a 3D map of what's going on. We want to keep surface pressures on and we want to change from a plane to flow lines. What will happen now is it's going to change and it's going to solve the airflow because right now it's just across my screen. This is in my car there and I've got all the flow lines. I'm going to turn the drag plot on now as well, which gets me the drag plot along the bottom of the screen here. And that'll give me the average drag coefficient, um, etc. And you can see them from there. The other thing I can do at this point is just change one of my settings from 64 flow lines to 100. Alright, and if I click OK, that just gives me a bit more information as far as uh, air flowing around my car. Now I can adjust my angle if I need to to start to have a look at where I've got areas of high pressure or lower pressure. And you can see my car in this case is coming down quickly on its drag coefficients there. So that's how you go ahead and get it set up. The last thing you'll need to do once it has become stabilized, so mine is still transient so I need to leave mine until it stabilizes, but once it is I'm going to need to save an image. So I'll come up here to this menu image. That'll bring up a little dialog box here. We're just going to set it as a JPEG image in the same folder and call it first car again. And I'll probably do first car image. Hit save. And the last thing I want to do is go and save a video of it as well. So I'm going to click the save video box and I get that from here. So we'll just move it here. On here, all we need to do is hit the record button and then give it say 10 seconds of time in order to do that uh, little recording of it's going ahead and doing that now getting all the information it needs and when we're happy we hit stop it'll bring up a dialog box we'll just change that to AVI as the file type and call it first car video and save that alright so I've now done a video and an image of my flow design car as you can see, as mine's going through, I'm starting to get a bit, a lot more information about areas that I might need to think about changing my car here. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, velocity or pressure on the front of my wheels and at the front of my canister housing here, meaning the air doesn't flow so great around those areas. Um, you can also see in this, if I flip around to the and zoom in, we've got a few little bits of eddy currents and um, turbulent flow at the back of the car here. Mostly, however, we're getting a lot of laminar flow, which is great, especially if we look 
against the car here, we can see where the line's going around the car. And mostly they flow around nicely. Some get caught up and go in interesting directions, however. So hopefully that helps you to your testing for your F1 car and save off all that information. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video.